All designs start with a small sketch and add like extra elements to see if I can put them and if I can remove elements from the shape that I created and all will be adjusted inside Procreate. I go to the pattern builder kit and I select the ice cream uh, shape. It's the shape that I built my sketch on. I click once inside the canvas select transform tool and fit to canvas here i have the layer in lower opacity then i go to the range tool add insert a photo and i select my sketch and fit to canvas it's not adjusted perfectly so i'm gonna go to adjustment options select hue saturation select saturation and and brighten the sketch go to the layer and select multiply and lower the opacity and using transform i'm gonna and freedom I'm gonna adjust the sketch depending on the shape that i created here my first attempt at the sketch but i don't really like it it's too too loose and I think repeating the same uh, goes it will be too much so I'm gonna maybe add the skulls as a new element so what I'm gonna do is go to the pattern builder kit and select the composite the ice cream composite create a new layer click once select transform and fit to canvas and lower the opacity now what I'm gonna do is duplicate this one, make it small and make adjustment here. It'd be add skull here, add the skull here to make the pattern more interesting. So I refined the sketch and added the skull in the center. So repeating the pattern will be more interesting. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to duplicate the guide and the sketch. And using the snapping tool, I'm going to move them to see if the pattern is repeating fine. As you can see, we have the orange guide means it's snapping perfectly and it will be per uh, pixel perfect so I'm gonna repeat the process To make sure the pattern is repeating correctly so what i'm gonna do is duplicate this one hide the original one remove the guides and flatten this one and duplicate it four times just to make sure that when i move the elements they are good if you click on the corner you can make the layer half the size of the canvas so you don't have to move them make them by, uh, adjust them by hand and as you can see here the elements are repeating perfectly now i'm happy with that so i can go to the next phase and that is coloring i'm gonna start by changing the background color if you select the background layer i'm gonna select the dark beige and for this one i'm gonna use this palette and 
for each color I'm gonna use a different layer because my design is symmetrical like this color it's the same on the two sides I'm gonna go to the wrench tool canvas and activate the drawing guy click edit drawing guy and for this one I'm gonna use symmetry vertical symmetry and I'm gonna start with the skull and adjust the guide later on for the uh, pumpkin and make sure that the layer has the word assisted on it Now I'm going to do the pumpkin and the layers symmetry. So I'm going to go drawing guide, edit drawing guide, and I'm going to adjust my guide to be the center of the pumpkin. I keep it red because my colors are dark. And start coloring. Like I said, I'm going to create a new la layer and keep the drawing assist. Select the orange for the pumpkin. If you drag the color inside and it fills the whole layer, don't panic because it means only that you have elements that are not closed like it should be. Then if you drop it again, it will fill the layer. Because I always like to uh, cut the symmetry with elements that are not symmetrical, like this leaf or vine here, so and the snake. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna create a new layer and keep it blank without the word assisted on it, so I can draw without using the symmetry. As you can see, it's not repeating symmetrical because I don't have the word assisted on it. Now that I have all the element colored, I'm going to hide the sketch. Uh, take note that I put the sketch on top to see when I color better. Now I have this element colored and each element is on its own layer. So what I'm going to do is repeat it like I did with the sketch. Duplicate the color, hide the original one, flatten the, and use one of the guides. 
selected as a group and duplicate this layer and do the same as the sketch so i'm gonna select this one and move it making sure that the snapping is active and you know your snapping is active when you see the orange guy Now I'm gonna do as I did with the sketch. I'm gonna duplicate this layer four times. Select transform and click on the side and make each layer have the size of the canvas. And as you can see, the pattern is repeating perfectly. I will be adding more videos. So if you are interested, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you.